As of right now, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, part one, has a whopping 95% on Rotten Tomatoes with 44 critics counted for. There's a lot to go, of course, but those are really good numbers. Can it hold on, though, to that percentage? And do these feel genuine? Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was a fantastic film, and judging by these early reviews, that's exactly what we're in store for. But let's check them out, see if they hold water, see if they seem intelligent and honest, and we'll look at some of the negatives, too. Spoiler, there's not many. I haven't seen it myself. I'm very excited to. If you want, you can subscribe to the channel and you can hear my thoughts tomorrow on this movie. Let's break these down. Here's a few from the positive side. Amanda says, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is exhilarating, touching, creative, and a shoe in for best animated feature at the Academy Awards again this year. She also gives it a score of five out of five. William keeps it short and sweet. My great movie sense is tingling. <laughs> Spider-Man reference. Brian says, A smart, thrilling piece of work that reminded me of other great part twos like The Dark Knight and The Empire Strikes Back. High praise from Brian. Those are two amazing films. Let's continue. Eric says, Across the Spider-Verse nimbly weaves an intricate all-ages blockbuster with rare style and aplomb. It is both magnificent and exhausting. Sometimes, all at once. I appreciate the use of aplomb. Ruben says, Sony Pictures Animation is two-thirds of the way to having one of the best movie trilogies of all time. <laughs> my spidey sense is tingling now. In my pants. Sophia says, In its truest essence, Spider-Man is about love, death, family, grief, and how all of these pieces of life intersect when we're too young to have it all figured out yet. It's compelling stuff. Let's hear what some of the negatives had to say. Old Tim's not so high on this one. It gets drunk on itself. Sometimes sad drunk to the brink of a hangover. Slurrily outstaying its welcome. Tim could be right on this. The movie is two hours and 20 minutes long. Very long for an animation. You gotta hold little one's attention. Good luck with that. Maybe Tim's right. We'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. Roger Moore, who's been around for an eternity, is not a fan of this movie. A mad cinematic jumble of comic book imagery, comic book mimicry, multiverse plotting, and ponderous, pandering fan service. I feel like Roger Moore opened up a dictionary and went right to the letter P and thought, how many words can I cram in here? He sounds like Jackie Childs from an episode of Seinfeld. Let's read it in that voice and see if it sticks. It's a mad cinematic jumble of comic book imagery, comic book mimicry, multiverse plotting, and ponderous, pandering fan service. Yeah, that checks out. Well, there you have it. Some of the early top critic reviews on Rotten Tomatoes for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, part one. I'm going in with an open mind, with an open heart. Again, I really like Into the Spider-Verse. This looks like a beautiful cinematic achievement with phenomenal 3D and 2D animation blend together in a beautiful harmony, a wondrous, creative, exciting adventure for the whole family. The runtime scares me. It really does. It's hard to hold the attention for people for that over two hour mark. But if anybody can do it, it's, it's these guys. Thanks again for watching the video. Again, if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and shoot that web on the subscribe button because you're Spider-Man in this scenario. You can also go ahead and use those web shooters and hit that like button because you had a good time here and I would appreciate it. You can also swing your ass down to the comments and let me know if you're excited about this film, if you think it's gonna be overrated based on what you're seeing. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.